It's time for the Adventures of Damsel Doggy. Let's see what type of havoc we can wreak in the mines today as we try to rescue little damsel pugs all while gathering as much money as possible because it is the daily challenge. And the score does matter. Hey, I found the damsel already. That's a nice start. Looks like he might be accessible, maybe? Can't tell, we might be able to use a rope to get back up there. Let's continue to explore. Let's grab an incredible rock, which will be even better. Weaponry, hmm. I saw someone suggest that I should go after all of the damsels, even if they require me to spend resources. And I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I don't hate the idea. <laughs> so I'm at least thinking about it today, right here, like whether I should go ahead and spend a bomb in order to rescue this particular damsel. Oh boy, okay. Almost got myself into, let's go ahead and set this arrow trap off just like that. I think I'm going to, because there is also a gem and a piece of gold that I could get right there. So let's go ahead, oh, and we got another gem out of the wall, so let's go ahead and do that. Rescue this damsel, there's a little bit more gold. Oops, Ooh, okay. Almost, Ooh, yep. Almost got myself into a position where I was gonna spend a rope as well. And so, is it worth it? Probably not. But look at this cute little pug. Who wouldn't want to rescue that face? Some more money in there, but we've already spent our extra bomb of the day. And so, let's carry a rock forward to 1-2 and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into there. Still got four ropes, down to three bombs, up to five hearts with the lick from Damsel Doggy. And 1-2 is going to bring us Arrow Traps Galore. And let's see, okay, there's a chest over there. Will I be able to get the chest on the way back? Ooh, Kali Altar. Interesting, interesting. Oops, I almost hit myself in the face with that rock. I hear the damsel already. We're not going to sacrifice damsel doggy because that's definitely a rule that I am adhering to these days. No sacrificing the damsel. All right, there's always the outside chance there could be a scorpion in the pot, and so we break the pot on the Kali altar just in case there is. Uh, I think I'm going to struggle to get past those spikes on the way back. Uh, I've had a bad experience with spikes in the previous daily challenge, if I recall correctly. And so... Ooh, a vault. I think... I will choose to leave that chest behind and whatever money it might contain. All right, I think given our bomb situation, the vault is definitely going to be out on this level unless we happen to find a pick or a box of bombs. Another damsel rescued and, ooh, speaking of bombs, let's do this the nice safe way. We're gonna get plenty of bombs out of this deal. And so I think it is completely appropriate Kill the shopkeeper like that. And now I have a shopkeeper corpse. Uh, how many ropes would it take? I don't have climbing gloves to get back up to the Kali altar. I think too many. Although, hmm, if I use the shotgun to jump though, yeah. And do I want to go after the altar, or sorry, the vaults? Would be worth a lot of money, but it'll still be taking a bit of risks. I think let's just be happy and go ahead and move forward. And, yeah. If I'd been in more of a rhythm lately, it might be interesting. I still had a lot of time there. It might be interesting to go, hey, a compass, great. And go to the vault here in the early levels of the mines. But for today, I think I'm happy to kind of do things this way. Okay, so we got another Kali altar, which is great. Gonna try to remember that. Oh, there's a shopkeeper, hello. Uh, if he comes all the way out here, he might. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, darn. All right. Not sure if the shopkeeper... Okay, the shopkeeper was alerted to our presence. That could actually work in our favor. I'm going to go ahead and start bringing... Okay, great. Shopkeeper apparently has killed himself somewhere. Presumably on some spikes. Uh, I think the damsel will be safe here. Uh, there will be another shotgun down there, I'm sure. But let's go ahead and bring a few of these things downward. And see what we got. More bombs. Terrific. Oh, crap. I wanted that. There was a Kali altar back up there, and I forgot about it. And I just knocked the shopkeeper down. Um, that was not smart. Um, is there another shotgun here? Probably somewhere. 
Let's see. Oop! I don't know why I thought I had the climbing gloves. I know why I thought I had the climbing gloves, because I had the climbing gloves in my warm-up round. And I'm not in my warm-up round anymore. <laughs> Oopsies. Alright, and there's a big spider over here, and we know that big spiders are Brian's nemesis. And I want to bring the shopkeeper back up here, so we're going to do this. Alright, this is going to take a bit of time. But these are the things we do. Uh, where was the altar again? I remember seeing it, but I guess I didn't walk over to it. I will spend another rope in order to make the sacrifice. Could have spent a bomb as well. In fact, now with only one rope left, I should consider spending bombs. Uh, in preference to that, potentially. Um, I think the what he calls got to be over there, but I do want to take out the big spider if I can. He's probably like falling down to some lower level, and so let's see if I can shoot him over here. Yeah, there we go, just to get the extra gems. Uh, I see a shortcut to the exit over here, and so even though it's going to cost us a bomb, I'm going to go ahead and do that so that we can quickly get Damsel Doggy to the exit, and I can try to locate the locked chest before we run out of time with the ghost. Um, let's see. Locked chest, locked chest. If I were a locked chest... Okay, there's the other shopkeeper. Oh, I want to get the other shopkeeper body down there, too. And there's the locked chest. Okay. Um, we're going to drop that right by the exit. The ghost is about to arrive. And so I'm going to try to get the ghost to come from the left-hand side. Is the ghost coming from the left-hand side? Yes, great. Okay. Do I want to get the other shopkeeper corpse to the Kali altar? Now is the other thing to make a decision about. Um, gently. It would cost me, yeah, yet another rope, which I don't really have. I think once again, let's just go ahead and be happy and go ahead and move forward. We got... Pretty much everything we need out of the mines. We've got the Eye of Ujat. We've got plenty of bombs. And so let's definitely try to use those bombs to help ensure that we stay alive. And I think I heard Damsel Doggy just take damage somewhere. And so I'm afraid that Damsel Doggy is going to be dead as a result of the Cobra Bite by the time we reach him. Pretty sure that's what my ears told me. Uh, there's only a tiny bit of money there and... I'm going to keep moving, because with the Cobras I hear... I expect that this level is going to take me a little bit of time. Alright, and I also need to worry... Oh, it could have been... Oh, it wasn't Damsel Doggy. It was the uh, Caveman that I heard, I believe. Okay, let's see. More opportunities... <laughs> I really do not like scorpions. But shooting them in the back is not so bad. Okay, let's see. I can spend a bomb there, which will open this up, allow me to get some shots, yeah, into this guy to kill him, to get some more gems, and I'm just kind of like looking for easy money on the level, let's see, the, uh, oh, another Kali altar, wow, let's try to time this well, I did not time that well, okay, uh, I might be able to use the snake to jump back up there if I choose to go in that direction. Okay, there's the shopkeeper at the exit. There is another crate that I want to get, but I believe I can take out the shopkeeper. Oh, shopkeepers. Yeah, let's try to do it from above. We're gonna try an unusual method like this. Yes! All right, I got pretty lucky there, but I will take it. Wowie, wow, wow. Um, yeah, that actually turned out really fantastic. Okay, and we'll take a look at what's in that shop in a moment. Uh, I almost just shot Damsel Doggy in the face because I saw the snake there. Fortunately, we didn't do that. We've got some nice spiky shoes. All right, it looks like, assuming I don't screw this up, we're... Oh, boy. <laughs> Speaking of screwing things up, let's also not shoot Damsel Doggy in the face. Okay, great. Looks like we are going to make it out of the mines with quite the haul. Oh, jetpack! Yes! Yes! And, man, this is just like the greatest thing ever. Look at this. We're gonna be able to uh, ghost some gems here. I'm not above ghosting. Uh, let's see, we're gonna wanna take our shotgun to the exit, and so, uh, let's see, okay, here comes the ghost. Um, yeah, let's go after gems, 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 gems. All right, so let's get the ghost to fly through that right now. Uh, he just went right over it, okay. Let's see, do I have a way out over here? I don't. Um, and I can't really get to these gems, I don't think, without doing a bunch of digging. Okay, he's gonna fly through that. Let's go carefully back up to higher portions of the level. Man, I wish I had noticed 
earlier that we were going to have a shot with a jetpack, or at least the possibility of such a thing. Oops. Uh, Alright, ghost is coming, ghost is coming. Let's get him to fly through that. I'm pretty sure I can still dodge around up here and do some other crazy uh, maneuvers. And yeah, earn a lot of money as a result. Alright, let's go ahead and get Damsel Doggy to the exit while I'm thinking of it. And we're right down here. We've got shotguns kind of right next to the exit, and so that's a great place for them. Oops. I want to pick this back up. Um, it's going to be hard to get the ghost into that gem. At least from here. Uh, I can get the shopkeeper corpses definitely to the Kali altar, so I definitely want to do that. I want to go grab this gem. And do I have a way back out over here, or can I make a way with the pick? Probably can make a way with the pick, and in any case, we'll go ahead and get the ghost to fly through that. Yes, this definitely has potential to be an extremely profitable daily. I don't think there's going to be enough gems that I'm going to use up the entire pick, and so I'm willing to go after little bits of money like that. Uh, what was I just saying that I needed to do? I thought I had some kind of important brainstorm about some key aspect of my play. The shopkeeper is in the Kali altar, right. All right, I'm going to have to do that the next, oops, cycle around. Let's see. Uh, I'm not doing a good job of aiming the ghost uh, through all these different places. And there's still some more gems and things over here. Okay, let's let's start working on the shopkeepers. I think they're the next order of business, and if I can get the ghost... Yeah, yeah I can do this. If I get the ghost here, then I believe the ghost will fly through that gem. And so we'll have that one done with, and then I think there's one more blue gem over here. Yeah, this will work. It'll take a little bit of time, but... Uh, I'm willing to spend some time. Let's see. This one... That one's pretty dangerous. I might let that one go, or I might uh, try to think of a different strategy. But let's go ahead and sacrifice the shopkeeper. Let's go grab another shopkeeper corpse. Pick up our gem. Uh, let's get the ghost... Yeah, like way over here. Actually, if I get the ghost way over here, I could probably get him to fly directly up through this gem. Yeah, I think that's totally going to work. Yeah, because if I go up here then... There we go. And that's how we ghosted the blue gem. Hooray! Okay, and yeah, sadly if I had spent... Oh, climbing gloves! Okay, I've got climbing gloves now. That actually could alter my trajectory in different things. I need to get out of here fast. Um, before the ghost comes. Okay. Uh, shotgun, is there any other gems? There are other gems. So there's a diamond over here. The gem over in the right-hand corner that we just saw, I don't think I'm going to be able to get. And the rest of them, I do want to get that one. And I can always dig a different way out for myself with a pick in all likelihood, or even bombs if I get into a pickle. <laughs> pick! Pickle! See what I did there? Um, here is another gem which I'm probably going to get myself into trouble with. I'm going to go ahead and spend a bomb here, too. Oh, crap! There was a, uh, a spike trap there that might not have gone off, and that was very scary. And I'm also about to get myself into a huge bit of trouble right here, because here comes the spider. Wow. Okay, that was more risk than I should be taking. That is a sign that Brian needs to exit the level, be happy that he's going to break 100,000 uh, on inside the mines, and just move on with life, uh, enjoy it while it lasts, but try to make it last. We've got over 100,000, we're exiting the mines, we have seven hearts with a lick from Damsel Doggy, we have, I believe, 30-something bombs, we still only have the one rope, but with the jetpack, the rope will not be that important. And, yeah, so long as we don't throw, uh, we are on our way to a big daily. Oh boy, let's try not to screw it up. And by let's, <laughs> and we, I mean me. Oh, speaking of, okay, shopkeeper, how do I solve you? Um, I think I'm going to do this. Has he fallen down somewhere yet? Yes. Okay, great. I saw there were a bunch of bombs. Oh, and I hear the black market. I guess it's below me? It must be over in here somewhere. Definitely need to find the black market entrance. There it is. Okay, great. Alright, so that's one fewer thing to worry about. Oh boy! Okay. 
Let's not get too close to the, what do you call? All right, it would be great to still get the damsel. It would be great to get some easy money on this level. Uh, and of course, it would be greatest to ensure that we stay alive and don't do anything too foolish. I could start like ghosting all of the levels at this point right now, but uh, there's greedy and then there's super duper greedy. Uh, let's see. Crap. All right, let's, on your head. Or shoot you. That'll work too. All right, I still don't know where that shopkeeper went and he's kind of worrying me. Okay, there's the damsel. Ah, uh, should I try to save the damsel? I've already spent a lot of resources on earlier damsels and gotten them all. I think at this point I'm going to be happy with how we're doing and just go ahead and move to the black market. Because, uh, yeah, this will be the turning point. And with my one rope, let's try to place the one rope well. Although I've got climbing gloves and the whatever, and so it doesn't matter as much. But I will go ahead and spend the rope here anyway. Let's do one more. Oops, crap. This could be bad. Now it's better. All right, this shopkeeper should eventually fall down, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I believe... Yes, they are kind of stuck on that level, so let's go get some new things. Let's hope that ropes are among them, in case they come in handy. All right, this frog I want to get rid of. He might be kind of trapped in there. Maybe I don't need to worry about the frog. Let's worry about other things, like these guys. One, two... All right, got some artillery going into the Ankh shop. Uh, not enough, apparently. All right, that's still not enough. We're gonna need to worry about that. We still got shopkeeper on the second level. I have so many bombs. Like, I think I should just keep using them. Okay, there's that guy. Some of these shotgun pellets should be hitting this guy. Let's go grab the Ankh while we can to ensure we have an extra life under our belt. So many bombs. Okay, uh, Ghost is gonna be coming whether I want it or not, probably. And so I may want to Ghost the rest of the level. Let's see. How many shopkeepers do we have left? Looks reasonably safe down there. Uh, I can hear that we have shopkeepers. Sounds like two of them. Yeah, let's see if I can... Alright, that didn't exactly work. Hey, come over here, you big dummy. Alright, he's almost dead. He got a shotgun again, though. We don't like shotguns. Well, we do like shotguns, but only when we're wielding them, not the shopkeepers. All right, uh, that's a bunch more money. I might as well spend some bombs. Okay, I have a pitcher's mitt in order to get a few extra gems. Um, the ghost, uh, I can totally get to fly through that if I stand here for a moment. Uh, am I that greedy? Yes, I am, but I'm also this greedy. Okay. Oh, uh, now I got the ghost too high. Maybe, probably. And I just picked up that as well. All right, well, these things happen. I'm gonna go ahead and blow that thing up. Uh, I need to not get trapped by the ghost. I do wanna rescue the damsel because I'm feeling bad about having not rescued the damsel on the previous level. And I see some other possibilities for bits of money. And I'm gonna continue to be greedy because I'm just in a greedy mood. No, boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, there goes my parachute, that's good. Got rid of that thing, it's just holding us back. <laughs> All right, we're gonna stand right here so that the ghost will fly through the gem above us. Uh, we're not gonna be able to get the ghost to fly down through this one very easily, and so rather than continue to risk it, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We blew up the tiki trap. Um, I'm gonna leave a shotgun right there. We're gonna try to go rescue the damsel. We're gonna go grab this one gem. And then head to the exit and be very happy that we now have 140,000. There are possibly a few more gems that I could get on this level, but... Ah, even as greedy as I'm being, there are limits. There are limits to one's greed. 
If I could make it, like this is still way too early for me to be saying this, especially the way that I've played the last few days, but if I can make it to the City of Gold with all these bombs, holy cow. All right, I think that should be our focus. And so, to that end, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time and energy Just trying to stay alive. I don't want to waste all of my bombs all the time, but at the same time, I do want to ensure that I get through these levels. All right, that guy might end up shooting the frog and exploding himself, so let's give him a chance to do that. More bombs. This is just the level of all the bombs. All right, good. Uh, let's quickly set this down so I can open up this. More climb. Oh, no! Shotgun. I think safety demands that I do that. Great. Okay. Uh, now we can just kind of take our time. Get some more easy money on the level where easy money presents itself. Don't take any risks of falling into spikes or getting tiki trapped or anything crazy. Um, let's see. What is worth bombs? Uh, there's a big cluster of things over there. You know what? Let's just continue moving forward. We'll get into the ice caves with tons of bombs. And then we can really go to town. I think is a good plan. I also need to finish making sacrifices, or definitely in the ice... Oh, boy. All right, everything just changed. We've already got angry shopkeepers from I don't know where. I think I hear the dog below me somewhere. I think, once again, we're going to use our bombs to just try to shortcut- Oh, there's a vault, though. I want the vault. I want it. I want it very much. I have spiky boots, right? Yeah. So we can kill this guy off like that. And let's go ahead and get- Let's go ahead and throw you over here. Get all the potential projectiles out of here. Oh, crap. I opened that up. I didn't need to open that up already. Uh, one. Two. Thank goodness. Okay, great. I see Damsel Dog is right below us over here as well. Uh, there's an extra shotgun that I just got down here. I should probably ghost that, but it's too late now. Uh, Damsel Doggy is uh, leaving us, apparently. <laughs> He's going on his own journey. Um, where's the shotgun? Any shotgun. Thank you. Uh, if we see a Kali Altar, I will go back and try to get some bodies. Uh, but for now, I would try to like to get a light stick from somewhere. I see a couple of them on the ground over there. We're gonna be very careful with the tiki traps. We got plenty of bombs. Let's use them. All right, kind of like slowly kind of making a way towards the exit over here. Those little bugs are worth a lot of money and so, ah, ropes, say, hey, great. That could be useful for getting monkeys off our back or different things. Um, let's see if I can, I can't, right. Uh, let's see, I want to shoot that guy in the back with the shotgun is what I want to do. Whoa, okay, he almost got a chance to throw something at me. And the shopkeeper down here is dead. I'm pretty afraid of the tiki trap that's down there, and there's a tiny bit of money, and so I think, once again, we will somewhat needlessly spend bombs in order to just help ensure our continued survival. And let's see, since there happens to be a light right here... Oh crap, nope, nope! Okay. I would have thrown the rope if I thought it was going to help. Let's see. Uh, there's a little bit more money over here. I can actually get this money. Even I can do that without screwing that up. Do I see any? Oh, Kali Altar. Okay, gosh. All right, we got to make sacrifices. Kali needs to eat. And I need a, uh, what do you call? I might be able to get the ghost uh, to go through those. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of dead bodies and things in here. Um, can I do this without having the ghosts eat me? Um, I'm not sure that I can. Uh, let's actually go down here and then go above the ghost. Okay, we didn't ghost those gems. <sighs> I'm really scared it's a darkness level. We got a few more sacrifices in there. We still have a little ways to earn the Kali altar, or the Kali cup. 
Uh, I really want to do that so I can sacrifice myself and then when I come back with four hearts, like keep getting my hearts back up. So let's hope that we see an altar on one of the first couple of levels of the ice caves. If we do, then we will be in outstanding shape. And if we do not, then we will be sad that I didn't do better at the sacrifices earlier. Uh, okay. And since I've got the jetpack, let's go ahead and also try to leave gems behind. Uh, with the intention... Um, with the intention of... <sighs> ghosting them later. Alright. Let's see. I hear the damsel. Could always get the damsel to the worm tongue as kind of an early exit. Let's go ahead and set these things off. Uh, let's kill off all the yetis we can find, as well as any spacecraft. Oops, I just picked up a gem. Let's try not to pick this one up. It's probably going to fall out of the world, though. Trade offs, trade offs. Um, let's see. All right. Let's pick this up. And set it down right here. Go ahead and get that gem out in the open. So greedy, so greedy. Okay. More gems, great. That guy is kind of worrying me, and he's going to be hard to shoot, and so I'm just going to go ahead and do that, because once again... Sony bombs! Okay, where is the shopkeeper in the exit? There's an idol. Okay, we want that. Oh, crap. Just flew through another gem. There's another gem right there. Okay, didn't fall out of the world. That's nice. Pretty sure if I go one, two. Great. I have spiky shoes, and so I can just jump on this guy's head. That's what I could have done in the previous one. Okay. Uh, we have lots of gems on the ground. We've got a few more yetis that need to die one way or another. And... Okay, the level is nearly solved. Let's go ahead and bring Damsel Doggy to this exit since he's close. We'll get the idol to this exit, and then we will invite our good friend the ghost uh, to come say hello uh, and fly around the level chasing us because that will be super cool. I am going to arm myself with the shotgun once again, and let's see. Let's have the ghost fly through this gem first and then the one below me next and then we'll fly around the level. There might still be some enemies at the bottom left, and so I need to spend a little bit of time, or not so much time, uh, I need to spend a little bit of care making sure that nobody gets me over there. But apart from that, I'm pretty sure there were quite a fair number of gems. Let's actually get the ghost to fly up through these two first, I think. Okay. Oops, didn't get him to fly through that one. That's okay, I can get it on the way back. And then we can come over here and have him fly through this one, and then this one. Yeah, we are gonna get... I've already gotten 230,000. Yeah, this is gonna be another another daily where I improve my daily all-time top 10 average. Oh boy, okay. Let's get the ghost up here. Gently. Okay. Uh, we'll come back for those. <laughs> I was tempted to go ahead and try to get them now. Let's let's not get too crazy. Taking your time, as much as it may pain me to do, uh, is going to be a very good strategy here. Okay, do I see any enemies over here? No, it's just kind of like emptiness and void. So let's get the ghost to like fly down a little bit. And we'll go up over him. We'll go grab some more of our delicious gems and diamonds and money and whatnot. I'm pretty sure I have enough time to just break this open and see. There's a gem there. I'm just going to grab it uh, because I'm afraid of getting trapped in that corner with the ghost. And I guess I could have spent a bomb on it. Um, would have been another possibility. Okay, this one's already been turned into a diamond. This one's been turned into a diamond. I think we might have gotten everything. Uh, let's do one more quick fly around to see if there's any other obvious gems that I should be getting. There is, okay, great, that's why we do it. I'm gonna leave the shotgun there. Let's try to remember that it's there. I'm gonna pick this thing up because we can use it to get our gem. Oh, and there's a gem up there too. So many gems. Uh, let's see, let's get the ghost. We'll get the ghost to the right. We'll explode the one gem out of the wall. We will then go up to the top left corner. 
uh, and get the other money and whatnot that's over there. Crap, that didn't get set off. Can I do this? Oh, that was close. Yeah, and we'll get the money, and while we're over here... And I'm going to carry this chest, because we can drop off the chest somewhere where it's going to be easy to ghost in case there's gems inside of it. Um, yes, and then we'll be done with this level. Terrific. Uh, this is... This is shaping up to be a truly incredible daily. Oh, crap. <laughs> and the moment I say anything terrifically positive about it, I go and I accidentally get the gems. Oh, well. All right. Well, this is still going to be a very profitable level. Let's go ahead. I don't need the shotgun for anything else because I'm pretty sure I've killed all the enemies on this level. So let's go ahead and drop off the shotgun down there. Fly back up and collect our spoils. Such as you... And you, and I believe that was everything. And so... Let's head to the exit, and be very happy about how we're doing in this Splunky Daily Challenge! Woohoo! Alright, now we need to look out for the Moai head. It could be on this level or the next one. And... Ah... Uh, we are going to need to sacrifice ourselves when we die. I'm going to have to make a decision about whether I want to go to the mothership or not. I think I might not, because I think I'm more likely to survive to the City of Gold if I don't go to the mothership. Even though it could be pretty profitable to go to the mothership and get another Ice Caves level. I don't know, it's a difficult trade-off to try to decide between. But I haven't, haven't got a ton of experience with the mothership, and I think I could really, with 69 bombs still in tow, oh, make a lot of money in the City of Gold. Uh, if I can get to the city of gold, and so I'm pretty tempted to try to do that. Um, alright. Still haven't seen the shopkeeper. And I haven't seen the Moai head, which is a good thing. Maybe there'll still be a Kali altar. Okay, there's a shopkeeper. Uh, and since there isn't a Moai head, I need to be absolutely sure that I don't die on this level. Um, I'll go ahead and get this gem in case we end up, uh, ghosting it. Get it kind of prepared. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this Yeti guy. He's still alive. Wow, okay. And I think... Yeah, I could do that. Okay, there's another shopkeeper. So I guess there was a shop over there that I didn't notice. Uh, more gems. What's inside this shop? And can I get the shopkeepers out of the world? Probably. In fact, it seems like one of the shopkeepers has already fallen out of the world. And the other one... Crap, that was not a good spot. Ah, uh, might be good enough. Here, let's do this. That should get him. Oh, nope, still. Oh, well, now he might fall out of the world as he tries to chase me over in this direction. So let's see if we can... Oh, crap, make that happen. I still got 30 seconds before the ghost is here. There we go, fall out of the world. You can do it. He might need more coaxing. Okay, great. What was in the shop? More bombs! <laughs> Holy crap. 97 bombs is definitely the most bombs I've ever had. And so that is super cool. Pardon me, damsel doggy. Need to grab a gem. Need to grab a damsel. While we are here, we will try to get the ghost to arrive right here. He'll fly through this one. We can then have him fly kind of downwards through a bunch of these. And it's just more and more profit. For Brian... Oh! oh wake up. For Brian here in the Smoky Daily Challenge. Okay. Uh, the damsel's gotten himself safe. Um, there are various gems around the level, probably. Okay, this one... I might actually be able to ghost this one still. Uh, actually, probably not. I, well, yeah, there are ways that I could do it, but I think I'm probably not going to take the bother or the risk on that particular gem. And here's a guy who's still not dead, and here's some platforms that I didn't drop, and I don't want to have them accidentally fall on my head somehow. Uh, the ghost is not going to fly up through here very well because he's not far enough to the left, so that's no good. Uh, I have lots, if I don't want to spend my bombs, I've got lots of what do you calls. Can I get out of here? If I spend some bombs, I can. Let's do this. One, two. Crap. Whoa. Okay, that worked. Not as 
elegantly or risk freely as I wanted it to, but it worked. Uh, is the ghost gonna fly through that one as well? He is, okay, great. There she is. Yeah, let's quit having that debate. Uh, about the sex of the ghost. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, there's more gems up there. Yeah, I feel like this is a chance to be a real record-breaking daily challenge, and so I feel like it would be foolish not to try to get, like, every little last bit. And so I am gonna try not to die, but try also- ooh, crap, I almost just took some fall damage uh, to go for every last little bit. Which means I'm gonna go up here, and I'm pretty sure that there's a little landmine thing that I can pick up in order to free this gem from its ice mines crustly... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. And then this gem over here is now going to be ghosted. We're at 328,000, and we still have 95 bombs. I hope... I hope that Alex played today and had a good day. I hope that Packrat and Jay Sano uh, are having good days in today's daily challenge, because I would love to see like, just a million scores that are all, like, record-breaking scores, because this is definitely... is it definitely? As far as I can remember, this is, like, definitely the best uh, daily challenge I've ever seen. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that one. I didn't see an easy way to get the ghost to fly around it. Uh, this one, however, is definitely a diamond that we will grab, and I think that might be all of them. There's this one... I'll just spend a bomb on it. And my shotgun is by the exit, and I think we've gotten all the rest. Yeah, so let's let's throw that away before I do something foolish with it. Um, I think I just said that my shotgun is by the exit, and... Okay, and here's the other gem that I need to ghost. And I believe the ghost will be flying up through it right now. Okay, great. Gosh. Truly outrageous, the amount of money that is available in today's Daily Challenge. Alright, uh, we're going to be going to 3-3. The next level is going to be the level where we die. Uh, because of the Moai head, we're going to need to sacrifice ourselves. Let's hope that there's a Kali altar, uh, because that would really help me out. Let's also make sure that we rescue... Oh, there's a Kali altar! Yes! Let's make sure that we rescue the damsel. Uh, and get the damsel to the Kali altar. And actually, before we rescue the damsel... I should first uh, try to sacrifice other things to the Kali Altar so that I can start obtaining blood and I can use the damsel for some more blood if I need to to top off my blood. Yes, these are the correct these are the correct strategies to apply. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, let's be careful. Great. Um, is there a gem that I can use this on before I set it down? Uh, I don't immediately see one, so let's just use it on this gold. Great. All right, you go on the altar. Okay, I don't have Kali's cup yet. I don't remember where I set down my shotgun. I picked up, okay, here's the shotgun. Let's go get some more Yeti bodies. Uh, let's be careful. I'm just gonna use dead bodies. I'm pretty sure that they will be sufficient. Let's be careful that we don't um, end up with the ghost on the screen. Okay, there's Kali's altar. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more sacrificing, uh, mostly for the blood. Uh, and I would like to get my cup kind of mostly full, and then we could use the damsel to top it off a little bit. Um, I'm obviously going to spend a bomb here. And even though there's probably other things available, I'll go ahead and spend a bomb there. A boomerang and more bombs! <laughs> this is just crazy insane, the number of bombs. All right. Seems like things are reasonably safe over here. Let's get some happy gold. We'll leave the shotgun right there. It's a good place for it. Crap. In my hands is a better place for it. That thing is dead. This Yeti is dead. Sadly, the Yeti is ended up... Oh, good. It's gonna say inside a gem. Let's do... Okay. Okay, that... Might be a gem in that pot. How are we doing on time? 210. I still haven't gotten the damsel. Okay, my cup is still not very full. So I need to get the damsel to the exit and start finding the gems. And I do want to whip the damsel if there's a good place to do it. This is as good a good place as any. Sorry, damsel doggy. 
Need your blood. Okay, now we'll go rescue the damsel. The ghost is coming from this level. That's a good place for him because I know there's at least one gem way over here and there's also a pot, which I should probably pick up and just uh, explode right next to this gem in case it also contains a gem. I didn't manage to explode it somehow. There we go. Got some money. All right, great. Let's go pick up some of this money. Let's get the ghost to fly through here. I believe I have both the shotguns right next to me right now, so let's keep that in mind. Uh, there's a gem in the crest there that's going to be hard to get without falling through the void, and so I'm not going to try. Crazy gymnastics. Oh, boy. Uh, to get that one. There's still a pot over here. Oops. Uh, that I would like to get, and then I believe, yes, there's some gems right here, and I can go down, yeah, right here. Do not die to the ghost right here, because we'll be resurrected inside the Moai head, and the ghost will immediately kill us again. So, these are risky gems. I should have placed another bomb, probably. But it all worked out okay. Alright. So, we grab this money. We explode open this pot. We're disappointed that there's nothing there. I don't think that will hurt the Kali Altar. And so, there's a blue gem potentially on the ground. I wasn't sure if it was going to fall into the void from exactly where it was over there. We're going to grab these. We're going to go check on that blue gem. And then we're going to fall out of the world. Here's the blue gem. Alright, so we're going to grab the blue gem uh, and then fall out of the world. Be resurrected inside the Moai head. Use our bombs to try to reobtain uh, a shotgun and such things uh, that we will need to progress in future levels. I can even sacrifice myself. I sacrifice myself, does anything crazy happen? I'm just gonna fall in the void just because I know nothing crazy happens there. Uh, and we've got our cup about two thirds full with blood and we did rescue Damsel Doggy. So Damsel Doggy Lick is gonna bring us up to five hearts and we should be able to at least earn ourselves quickly back up to six hearts, thanks to Kali's cup. And okay, so now the key thing to do is to not die and to use our bombs to get the shotgun. All right. All right, there's some blood opportunities here, but uh, the spacecraft are kind of worrying me. And so, okay, here's the shotgun, great. One, two, and three, just for good measure. All right. Uh, I maybe could have not gotten all that money and saved it to Ghost, uh, but I really wanted the shotgun. And so now we have it. I missed that blood. I was trying to run over and see if I could get it. Uh, if I get this guy, I believe I can get some of his blood. Maybe, maybe not. And these guys... Perhaps some of these aliens will parachute out somewhere where I can get their blood. So we'll see how that goes in a moment. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Okay, we've got the damsel who we can whip. Um, we potentially, I guess the other shopkeeper's fallen out of the world because the music has changed. Here's some blood. Uh, we've got an idol. Gosh, there's so much money on this I've never seen a daily like this. This is just crazy town in terms of money available in today's daily challenge. Um, alright. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and blow that up. Just so I can shoot this guy and get his blood. The idol is so close to the exit, but let's just go ahead and bring that over there right now. Um, I'm gonna blow that up. Just have it out of the way. The damsel. Uh, let's get you into a nice place to whip you. Alright, so we whip the damsel and we get some blood. I guess I could have found a better place. We whip the damsel again and we get some more blood. Thank you, damsel doggy. I appreciate it. Now that you've done me such a kind favor, I will do you one back and bring you to the exit and safety. Because I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> I'm such a nice guy, I only whipped you twice to the brink of death. Um, and this guy could have some blood. Great. Uh, I'm not going to ghost that gem. In fact, are there any gems left? There's a gem in the crust right there. I really want to get to the city of gold. Okay, let's start thinking. Yeah, all right, we're gonna go to the temple. I need to kill Anubis, 
get the scepter to the next level. Use my bombs like anybody's business. I've got a pitcher's mitt, and so I can throw the bombs like all over the place. Not got not get telefragged by what's his face. Not die to that crush trap right there. So many things I need to do correctly. Uh, but I think I might be able to do them all. All right. Alligator Man makes me very scared, and so we will blow up a Tiki Trap, possibly get a free gem. Okay, I'm not going to die to that Tiki Trap. I am going to spend a bomb on you, just so I don't have to worry. We also happen to set off that Arrow Trap, which is super fantastic. We're going to kill these things, because they give us blood. We are going to carefully find our way around the level. I'm going to spend another bomb there to try to blow up another Tiki Trap. Um, Alright, we are going to spike this guy and then set off that arrow trap. There's Anubis. Okay, great. Uh, what is the best way to tackle Anubis from here? I believe it is to go like this. I want to get the scorpion while it's not... Yeah, facing in my direction. And then Anubis. Oh, crap. All right, that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and spend one more bomb here. That should open up Anubis. And then once he comes near me... Oh, he's still not getting near me. Okay. Can I... Oh, crap. Okay. Can I shoot with a shotgun from here, maybe? No, I think I'm still going to need to get another bomb to open it up over here. Okay. There we go. I could probably finish him off with a shotgun, actually. Hey, buddy. Is he still stuck? Stupid guy. There we go. Okay. Oh, crap! Don't fly into the thingies. We've already used up the Ankh. There's no free lives at this point, Brian. Whoa! I see the crush trap. I'm afraid of it crushing the scepter, and so I'm pretty sure that will explode the crush trap and the scepter will go flying. Yes. Okay, where's the exit? The exit's to the right. I'll pick up the scepter in a bit. First, we're going to get rid of some lava. I didn't get rid of all the lava. I thought that was going to get rid of all the lava. I was wrong. And there's a shot, uh, shotkeeper. And so I'm going to fly up here to get eyes on him. Yuck. Oh, terrible chill. Crap, crap. All right, wasted too much time. We are... Going to be happy about the fact that I just happened to notice this. Um, and so there's like a little free opportunity for a little something something. We're going to get the ghost up nice and high. And then I'm going to go back down there and figure out how to deal with the shopkeeper. And then I'm going to not exit the level until I'm carrying the scepter. Scepter! Scepter! I could use the scepter on the shopkeeper. Um, that is a not awful idea. Oh crap! Whoa! That was almost an awful idea. I am going to have to dodge the ghost once more, I think. Crap! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. Don't panic! Crap! I killed myself. Darn it! I saw the skeleton there, and I just... My automatic reflex was to fire at him, and I was holding the scepter, and the scepter doesn't attack the skeleton. Darn it! 457,000 is a great score for me, but on this daily, if I'd gotten to the next level, like... It felt like the sky was the limit. It's, I think, pretty bit... I don't know, broken to like 700 or 800,000. I can't wait to see the leaderboard. Alex, 1,045,000. Very good, Alex. And he only got the 3-4. So I guess he died maybe in the mothership is my guess, or coming back down through. Fedrin, uh, got very far. Nihon Tiger, oh no. And I guess not many people have played yet. I We've got to check tomorrow and look back at yesterday's scores, because I imagine there's going to be... At least two more scores higher than mine, and I got a good score. Uh, looking back at yesterday, yesterday was awful. Oh, that's right, Fairy Juice and I, yeah, we had a little duel, and it didn't go well for either of us. Jay Sano did pretty well. And now, since I got 457, I have to check my daily all time. Is up to 360. We're leaving Berg in the dust. Berg hasn't played yet. I will definitely warn him that he should play today, but I won't give him any other clues. I hope, as always, you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Spelunky. Bye-bye.